So which are the products that you're highlighting out here? Well, first of all, we have our traditional probes, which basically is either hardware, software, or appliance-based, so that you can deploy them anywhere to check out your content. Either that is RF, like terrestrial, satellite, cable, or internet-based OTT or IPTV. We have the probe so that you can actually understand how your network behaves. Yeah. We are also showcasing the latest features for our groundbreaking 440 probe. And the 440 contains all the tools you need for serious, uncompressed workflows. We utilize the 440 not only for very, very accurate packet measurements, but also from traditional tools like waveform vector scopes and all the other picture manipulation tools you need to be able to be comfortable with HDR production and immersive audio. Okay. What is different about your products from what the competition offers? Well, uh, first of all, the competition traditionally uh, makes products that fit into a very, very narrow type of broadcast production scenario. We try to say that we expand that scenario by giving you more tools within the same frame. First of all, everything we do is software based. And that means that all the packet inspection and all of the traditional tools is there, but in software and accessible via a web browser. And that means you can access it from the other side of the world if you like to, which is very, very practical for people like, let's say, NBC Sports, which have their operation center in, in, in New York, and they then have a lot of crew in, in Paris. Then they can actually operate a lot of these remotely because of our capability. But more than that, we expand the scope of the equipment. We go from traditional broadcast tools into other areas. We then have a full Dolby renderer incorporated. And that means that we also do then speaker control. So you can then actually have the ability to control the speakers from our software solutions. And that's expanding the, uh, the, the width of the system that we don't see the competition doing right now. Okay. Is there anything specific that you've planned for the Asia Pacific region? We, uh, nothing truly specific because we believe that generalistic tools follows the generalistic standardization. But we do get that the ATSC 3.0 is coming, for example, to India in a yeah. big way. Yes. And that means that some of our ATSC 3.0 tools is definitely going to be specific for the Indian market. And that's one example for you.